It's a few weeks now since we finished the last part of the groundworks and tomorrow we've got the uh, guys coming to put the shuttering up for the slab. So they think that's going to take a day, maybe two at the most. And then next week we've got the uh, damp proofing guys coming with a membrane uh, and they'll put that in. And then after that, they'll do the structural steel work and then uh, inspect by the local building control and then um, final port. And it's about 58 cubic meters of C35. So we've had a good price from Phase and they'll be doing the pour and the guys that are doing the steel work will also be uh, supplying the uh, concrete pump. So that's going to be interesting to see. A quick bit of information on the site toilet. The uh, best quotes that we had were £15 a week and that of course doesn't include VAT or emptying them. So uh, we bought this one from an online, online company. The name is in the uh, description below. But yeah. Pretty standard chemical toilet. I've added the chemical in there, keep the smell down. So because we paid around about 800 pounds for it and that was delivered, um, that's probably about the same cost more or less of a year's rental. And we're certainly gonna need it for 18 months because when we start doing the fit out inside, we want the tradesmen to be able to use the toilet on the outside, um, keep things nice and clean and convenient for them as well. So. Uh, yeah, it seems to be a good idea to purchase it if you can, rather than rent it, because uh, why give that money away? And it's still got a resale value. I know it might not seem very attractive, but once it's all power washed out at the end, it's still got um, a value of around about three or 400 pounds. So it's, um, it's a wise thing to do. It's certainly, it's certainly worth considering. So the guys are doing the shuttering now and they've got the 10 by twos that they're working around the periphery of the site with and then they'll get the levels out and make sure that it's nice and straight before they put the two inch cap in and that will allow us to have um, a full 12 inch height which is the sub thickness. In addition to that I've had a disagreement with um, a local swarm of bees just down there. Uh, quite a few stings in the face that took exception uh, to me being so close. So Jack, Dan and Dave are on site from Dampco and they're fitting the under slab waterproofing. Main reason being is because uh, Nadura, despite um, it being filled with concrete, has got lots of migration paths uh, with a plastic webbing where technically water could migrate through, which is a bit disappointing, um, but Jack's got a, a solution. So we've got um, an external uh, type A, we've got an internal type C, which will be going in when the uh, walls have been filled. It's an insurance backed uh, guarantee, which is uh, all important when you are uh, putting such a lot of money into a project like this. So this is the external part of the membrane going in. It's neatly uh, lapped into the corner, as you can see. It's like got a fleecy inner, which obviously the concrete will be uh, poured into and in a few days, you're going to see the steel reinforcing mesh on top of that. And uh, the building inspector will be coming out to double check he's happy before we pour.
Well, we've had a good first day reinforcing. We've managed to get the, all of the lower level of the A393 mash down. And we moved on to getting the starter bars, which is 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter 816s. There it's 200 millimeter centers, and that's for the retaining component. So when all of this behind me is backfilled, it will resist that force. Now these deck chairs are spacious and they provide the separation between two levels of mesh. And then underneath there, you've got 50 centimeter spacer bar. It's concrete, which hasn't got any reinforcing bar in, so it breaks really easily. And it's really good to um, give you that depth of cover for the concrete, because uh, on this job, it has to be 50 millimeters. So uh, yeah, these are perfect. They come on a big pallet. We've used a lot of them and they're relatively cheap. They come in one meter sections. So yeah, really handy and certainly better than the plastic chairs that are available. And that recommendation isn't from me, that's from the guys that do this reinforcing all the time. Well, it's eight o'clock and we just finished fitting the last eight sheets just in time for the pour tomorrow. Um, we've got to send a photograph of the finished deal to the building inspector. But uh, yeah, CM Hill, really, really helpful. Um, helped me out of a tight spot, my fault, I under ordered. And uh, yeah, they came down and worked late even though they're uh, up in Exeter, which is about 45 minutes away. But uh, yeah, highly recommended. Really, really great lads, really friendly, really professional. And um, above all, you know, good grafters. Brilliant. Well, it's half past six and Alan's here with a pump and uh, we're using the second entrance. We use that because we get better access for bigger vehicles and the roads in better shape. So uh, he's gonna go down onto site and set up. Well, Alan got in okay. Time's quarter past 12, we started at 20 past seven. So for a 32 meter by 7.25 by 30 centimeter slab, that's pretty good going. The guys have worked really well, really hard. Um, it's red hot. Um, so pizzas are on the way and uh, everybody can have a bit of a relax and we'll continue wetting it down. But everybody's tidying up and cleaning everything down and uh, hopefully they'll be away in the pub soon. So Al, nearly 12 hours today on site, a long one, eh? In, yep. I think it's the hottest day of the year so far. So what, up to maybe 30 it's been here? Yeah, it's been a bit really hot. hot. So we are done with the slab. We have watered it and watered it and watered it. And now we are gonna go home and crack the gin and a beer, I think. Sun will be down in about an hour. So it's not so hot now. But yeah, There's good job. There's not much more to be gained. Yeah, really successful day.